fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson three, graph data. So we're gonna do an investigation and we have a cup, we have water, we have a thermometer, we have ice cubes, and then we're gonna use the clock as our stopwatch. So what we did was we filled the cup with half, um, half full with regular tap water, and then we're going to measure what temperature, what room temperature that is. And then what we're going to do is every 10 seconds after we put in the ice, we're going to say what the temperature is. And then you guys need to write that down on your paper, right? Okay. So to begin with, our water is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Then we have our ice cubes, our three ice cubes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add them in. So every 10 seconds, we're going to have to decide what the temperature is. Okay, so after 10 seconds, it is 51 degrees. After 10 more seconds, it is 51. After 10 more, it's 50, 50. Ten more, it's 50. Ten more, it's forty nine. Ten more, forty nine. No, do you need any more? Okay. All right. So, what was ten seconds? Fifty one. Fifty one. What was twenty? Fifty one. What was 30? 50. 40? 58. What was 50? 49. And then what was 60? 49. Okay. Draw conclusions. Number one, explain why you would record the beginning temperature at zero seconds. We would start at zero seconds because the ice has not been added yet. Number two, describe what happens to the temperature of the water in 60 seconds during the experiment. The temperature of the water decreases with time. Number three, analyze your observations of the temperature of the water during the 60 seconds and explain what you think would happen to the temperature if the experiment continued for 60 seconds longer. The temperature might decrease some, but not as much because the ice is already melted. Make connections. You can use the coordinate grid to graph and analyze the data you collected in the experiment. Write the related pairs of data as ordered pairs. So at zero um, seconds, what was the temperature? Okay, so we write zero, 52. At 10 seconds, it was? Guys, yeah, so look back at your chart. 51. 51. 10 seconds, it was? 51. 51. At 20 seconds, it was? 20. At 30. 40, 50, 60, 49. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we are going to label um, our different um, spots. Okay, so we, for the first one we go to 0 to 50. So we, or let's to 50, what guys? 52. So about in between, right? Mm -hmm. Then at 10, we would go to 51. At 20, we would go to 51. At 30, we would go to. Oh, so I didn't do this right because you have to skip lines, right? So 10 was 51. 20 was 50, 50. 51, 30 was 
50. 40 was. Then 50 was. So a little bit below the line. And 60 was. So my line should be going down, right? Slightly down, okay? And then we did, we plotted the point, and then they already did the, um, the grid for us, right? Where they had the title, they had the X and Y axis is labeled, and then also with temperature and time. Sharon Show, grab the data on the coordinate grid, write the ordered pairs for each point. So what they wanted us to do was we needed to do each one from these charts, and on the X axis, they labeled that as age, so age would go first in our pair, ordered pairs, and then the height would go second in our ordered pairs. So for the first one, they said it was 1 and 30, so we're going to put that there. 2 was what? 2 and 35. 3 is 35. Okay. Then 4 was? Four and forty-one, and then five was forty-four. Okay. What does the ordered pair three thirty-eight tell you about Ryland's age and height? I think that was what. So it tells us. Rylan was, was how old, guys? Three years old and what? Three inches. Letter C, why would the point 642 be nonsense? So why would the ordered pair 642 be nonsense? What is this height doing, guys? It's increasing. So, if he was 6, could he be 42 inches? No. No, because if he would have shrunk. Okay. So, Ryland's height is increasing as he gets older. Therefore, therefore, his or he will have Number two, letter A, write the ordered pairs for each point. So we said that it'd be 5, 1, 10, 3, 15, 8, 20, 12, 25, 16, and 30, 19, because if you look down here on our chart, they have, um, they have the x axis is labeled day, so we would put the day first, and then the height in centimeters, so for the first one, we would go to 5, 1, so a little below the line, next one, we would go to 10, 3, a little bit below that line, next one, we would go to 15, Eight. Next one we go to twenty. Well, the next one for twenty five we go to sixteen, and for thirty we would go to just a little bit below twenty. Number two, B. How would the ordered pairs be different in the heights of the plants if the plants were 
were measured every six days for 30 days instead of every five days. We would have five ordered pairs instead of six. The heights would be measured on days 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Problem solving. What's the error? Mary places a miniature car onto a track with, with launchers. The speed of the car is recorded every foot. Some of the data is shown in the table. Mary graphs the data on the coordinate grid below. So over here we saw what she did for her error. And then we said that when Mary graphed her data, she put her information on the wrong axis. So basically her Y and her X axis, she got mixed up when she went to go graph it, right? Because the distance should be along the X and the Y should be along, or the speed should be along the Y, right? Okay. And then, um, so she had it all set up right. She just put her points in the wrong spot. So distance and speed. So she started at zero, right? Then went any distance, and then her speed was at zero. Then she went one foot, and her speed was what? Four, right? Then she went um, two feet, and her distance was eight. Then she went three feet, and her distance was six. And then she went four feet, and her distance was Three. And then, of course, you have to connect all the data points. Okay.